Here we're looking at portfolio management in MicroFocus PPM, specifically at the Strategy tab, which allows an organization to define its global strategic themes, business goals, and KPIs, and relate them to portfolios of work and individual works within those portfolios. The hierarchical selection down the left-hand side of the screen ensures that whichever portfolio I select in the hierarchy, I will see the related information on the right-hand side of the screen. In this case, global strategic themes or investment buckets, as they're often called, which I've viewed in pie chart graphical form here so that you can see quite easily where I'm investing and spending my resources, where I'm investing my monies into the different strategic themes. Now below that, I also have the business goals related to this portfolio of work. If I click on any of the business goals, I can view more details about them, start dates, end dates, etc. And I can also view this in a graphical representation so I can look at information such as the target values and also the tracking against the values as to progress towards hitting and reaching that target. Now, most organizations then want to take that into what if analysis capabilities. The ability to take a portfolio of work and understand the impacts of changing things around, of maybe adding or taking away work or changing start and end dates. Now, I have a scenario here called the trial scenario that I've already created. And as you can see, highlighted in the white area here, all the works that are included in the portfolio, all the different projects and programs and proposed pieces of work. And below that in grey, all of the items that have been excluded from the portfolio. Now, I have information about budgets and resources, high level views here about their adherence to supply and how much demand has been put against them and what I have to play with. And everything is good and green at this moment in time. But I also have on the right hand side, a strategy tab. And this is now showing me my adherence to strategy. Am I supporting all of my global themes? Am I investing equally in all of these items? Should I be investing in more than in one more than maybe the other? So this gives me the breakdown. If I hover over any of them, it will detail for me all of the pieces of work that are included in that portfolio and are supporting that particular theme. And you can see here 43% of the monies are being spent on improving the operating cost, including a chunk of money in the middle there on voice to mail, uh, a particular project that uh, this organization is, is looking at delivering. And if I scroll down here as well, and look at the KPI, you'll see that for the support renewal date rate KPI, two pieces of work, e-learning and voice to mail, are helping to deliver that KPI through the life of this particular portfolio, or at least this particular what if scenario of this portfolio. Now, if I go and change anything about the portfolio, again, maybe move a date, change a date, change uh, uh, the start or the end of the duration, or quite simply just take something out of the portfolio, in this case, the voice to mail project that we looked at. If I go back to the strategy tab, you'll see immediately that it's no longer part of the improved operating cost. In fact, only 38% of monies are being invested against that particular strategic theme, rather than 43 a moment ago. And if I scroll down, we see that support renewal rate KPI only e-learning is tracking against that particular KPI. Now that we've taken the voice to mail project out of the portfolio, we are less likely or a longer timescale to deliver against that particular KPI and business goal. So MicroFocus PPM not only allows you to analyze the portfolio from a financial and a resource perspective, but also against the strategy that an organization is delivering and the specific goals and KPIs that relate to that.